sticking around throughout the weekend. Chief Meteorologist Chad Evans joins us now for your forecast. Yeah, hey there, Brittany. A fall-like pattern settling in. It was a fall-like pattern, 1964. Uh, on the morning of the 13th, you know, at this time of night in 64, it's already dropping into the 40, dropping into the 40s. But on the morning of the 13th, coldest air so early, early in the season across the area, and a good chunk of the area had a freeze. And it was only one other time in weather history that it was this cold this early. These were the lows on the early morning hours of the 13th and 64, 31 Delphi, 29 Winnemac, 33 at the Ag Farm. 32 at Fowler, we dropped to freezing at Romney. It can always be a lot worse than what we've got out there right now. Low clouds, a little patchy drizzle, and some patchy light rain's been flirting with the area all evening. This is drizzling, a little light rain in our northeast counties and northwest counties. It's all working eastward. And a few little spotty showers down towards Lafayette and westward towards Fowler and Hoopston. All of it working eastward, but the thing is, this will get out of here by early tomorrow morning. You can see that on a high res future cast product. This is 5 o'clock in the morning and this is 6 o'clock. Any drizzle or patchy light rain pulling away will have a partly cloudy afternoon and it looks good really for the rest of the weekend other than some patchy locally dense fog tomorrow night and pretty seasonally cold temperatures. Tomorrow though 62 to 67 area wide normal highs mid to upper 70s. A little bit warmer on Sunday but not before Cold morning, 37 Winnemac and Logansport on Sunday morning, 39 Burlington, 42 Lafayette and Attica, and 43 degrees at Pine Village. A little warmer Sunday, 65 to 70. Seven day forecast, 70 Monday, couple spotty showers. Otherwise, it's pretty dry. 72 Tuesday, mid to upper 70s, Wednesday through Friday.